So before we get started with TypeScript, we have to make sure that Node.js is installed on our computer. Yes, you have to make sure that another system is installed to use TypeScript. Now, the reason for this is how TypeScript's actually installed. So if you're familiar with pip or the Python um, package library, so pip install something, um, Node Package Manager or NPM works very, very similar and NPM is how we install TypeScript. Now, there might be other ways to install TypeScript, but I've found that NPM is the fastest way to do that. And to get NPM on your local computer, you download and install Node. So after you go through the installation process and download it, you'll see this summary and you'll notice that Node.js was installed and as well as NPM. So NPM is the important part here. To check that Node was installed, you would open up terminal or command prompt and just write Node dash v and you or sorry lowercase v and you get the actual version of node.js that you have right so the version is right here it's so saying 6.10.2 i have 6.10.2 installed um, and i can also do npm version and that will give me that as well in many cases in many cases you're going to want to actually update NPM because NPM uh, is updated more often or more frequently than Node.js is. So to update MT NPM, regardless if you just did it or not, you'll do sudo um, or if you are on Windows, you don't have to do sudo, but uh, everyone else you will do sudo NPM install dash G NPM. And we'll go ahead and of course write out our, our user's password or our super user's password. That's what sudo does or sudo as you may have heard um, okay so right now it's updating and installing it and it's finished so i've actually installed node.js and npm on here so we can now go to the next step which is doing all of the dependencies for this particular guide